noisy, aren't they? So you know how before I used the grenades on the other big daddies to get rid of them. If I wanted to save the grenades, I guess what I could have done is just waited until we get to this point. Then we can do this to them. And this would have made it a lot easier. And you see how the lights on their head, they actually show you what they're doing. Like yellow is neutral, green is when you've hypnotized them, and the red is when they're angry at you and they're attacking you. Wow, he's noisy. So that got rid of one of them. Now. He's got quite a bit of health left. What should I do about him? Maybe I can just follow him around until we meet another splicer and then I can enrage again. Even that would probably take about two grenades from, from me to kill him. And that would still be a profit, I think, but I really don't want to spend that money. If we can... Oh, security bullseye. I can make... Actually, I wonder if... So the turret took care of him. The turret, I don't know how much health he has left. More money. Where's his gun? There's his gun. More loot. Alright, now let's go buy ourselves another Eve Hypo or two. Where's the nearest shop? I guess it's a shop down here. Reminds us, we all make choices. Except this shop doesn't but sell. Yet, our choices make us. It doesn't sell Eve hypos. I can always just. Move. Seriously. Security alarm has been triggered in the here. They talk, talk, talk. We can sleep, you know. Is it 
dead Houdini splice are there, but that's not useful for us. Oh, shop. We've got 376. I should buy the health and Eve upgrades. Uh, none of these are useful, I believe. That might be useful. Combat engineering physical. Engineering plasma slot. I can get two of these. Security expert. Shorten alarms. Focused hacker. Two fewer overload tiles. Reduces prices in vending machines. Maybe I should get this. Um, saves and combo, nope. One fewer alarm, one fewer overload. Reduces difficulty, what does that mean? Does that mean make it slower or does it mean, you know, fewer danger tiles? Maybe I should get this. Although I've never had, no, no I shouldn't because I can just get the big daddies to kill each other if I need money. So I don't actually need that. Uh, alarm tiles are harmless because I'm invisible, so I should use that. Physical combat. F combat. Which one is the one that lets me. Combat. So I got the researcher's eye, I got the armored shell, increased wrench damage, I don't want static discharge. Don't need that, don't want that. Wrench look at quietens your footstep and increase your damage from melee attacks on unaware opponents. That helps with the stealth. Okay. What else? Alright. Let's save the rest. Let's find a shop. That's the next priority. But also when the plants were killed, that also opened up this area, the tree farm. You might notice the tree farm's not very big. And, you know, again the spaces aren't really logical if you try to consider them in terms of what they should be in real life. when we got photosynthesizing trees. Hell, we can even sell the extra to the rest of the city and undercut the other guys. Ryan will like that for sure. Fontaine's people have moved into the O2 biz tooth and claw. So Fontaine is selling up. I don't know how you can manage to transport enough oxygen down into a city, but anyway. I guess Fontaine is smuggling everything in from the surface, including oxygen. And now they're gonna plant trees to get a cut of that. But you know, when you have to pay money for oxygen, how can you... I mean, how does that economy even work? If you don't have oxygen, you die. And uh, if you die, we can't pay for it. If you don't have money... Then, uh, and how how do you how do you ration, or how do you decide who gets what oxygen? I mean, if one guy pays for it, what is he gonna get a gas mask and get a tank? 
If you're putting oxygen into the whole space, as we are now in none of the... None of the splices or anyone's wearing an oxygen tank, so obviously the... The oxygen is just being pumped into the space. How do they pay for it? Does everyone just pay a tax? Or... Or what? Is that... More loot? No, that's just a rock. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how you can manage to... To charge people money for air. I mean, it, it makes sense. In a way, because you're underwater. But how do you... how do you do it? How do you... Manage to actually do it. Uh oh, don't be stuck. Okay, I'm not stuck. Uh, I think this is as far as we go. I've picked up all the loot up here, I think. You know, hiding stuff, hiding stuff, and then rewarding people for exploring and looking for secrets. And I don't want to talk about other games when I'm doing one, I don't want to talk about the others, but... <laughs> but... Mirror's Edge... You know, they could have... Well, there's not much... There's no loot in that game, really, but I mean... Imagine if you, if you climb up to a secret and you find a gun and you can use it to, to kill the enemies. Like this game. You know, you can actually... I've been here. You know, they reward you for exploring. Those goddamn fanatics. Everything's optional, but if you do it, you you get an you get an advantage in the game, and it actually helps you. Okay, let's not mess this up this time. Damage increase, machine gun damage increase, shotgun rate of fire damage. No, grenade launcher damage immunity. I'll need that at some point. Maybe I don't need it. Chemical thrower I've never really used before. You know, in my previous playthroughs. I think machine gun damage increase is the most practical one at this point. I'll max out the grenade launcher, but I'll really use that only for some big daddies and the boss fight at the very end. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. And even then, like, it's not completely... It's like it's not all that important. I know the chemical thrower is actually quite useful. I don't know if that'll be helpful in the boss fight, though. It might be, actually. If I save up all the ammo for it. So machine gun damage... Shotgun I, I don't use. So that... 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 I guess it's the priority. Kickback reduction. I don't think I need to do that. Like I can control the the recoil manually fairly well. Anyway, got that trash can. Nothing in it. There's a guy down there. I don't know if this if he's a Houdini splicer, but I think he is. Seeing how everything's on fire, but I've researched. All the Houdini splices already, so I don't need to deal with that anymore. They're not selling any EVE hypos. I wonder if they're doing that on purpose. To make you use guns in this place. Because I don't know why they would do that otherwise. Oh, they
think my little security bot's gonna die. Or not. Wow. Could you not have exploded somewhere else? Corpse. Where was that? Corpse. Corpse. So where's the Houdini Slicer? Never mind. Let's see, we got a safe. We hack those. So, uh, my bot just died. And I do kind of want another bot. Although I guess I don't really need it. I've been doing okay so far. Farmer's Market. What does it say? Arcadia. So we're leaving Arcadia and we... Parasite has his eye on Rapture. Keep your eye on the Parasite. So yeah, I guess we're leaving Arcadia and that will be the end of this segment. The Houdini's Flyser appears to have disappeared completely. I'm not sure why. Alright. Whoa. So there wasn't a boss fight in Arcadia. 